the Tennessee Volunteers practiced under overcast skies on Thursday at Haslam Field. Following the eighth practice of the spring, head coach Lane Kiffin addressed the status of departing running back Lennon Creer. Lennon's no longer with us. Uh, he's decided, uh, we had a meeting, he's decided that uh, he doesn't want to be a part of the program anymore and uh, he's going to go a different direction, and so we wish him the best of luck. Thursday's work marks the beginning of the second half of spring camp, and it was a great workout according to Kiffin. I thought the defense had a great day, really did. Put in some, uh, some new fronts, gave the offense some problem, and uh, we moved some guys around on the offensive line, and uh, they, they got after us. We did a lot of third, long third down work as opposed to short yardage, some third and six, eight, and ten work, and I uh, thought the defense played well. Center Josh McNeil anchors Tennessee's offensive line. The senior is going through his final spring practice and learning a new blocking scheme in Kiffin's offense. Well, we have to get to a point where we can run, you know, the, the zone, the wide zone against any front at any time and be able to run it successfully. And, you know, we're not at that point yet, but, you know, we're working hard to get there. And, you know, that is going to be our bread and butter. That's what we plan on it being. So we just have to get it to where no matter what, we can run it and have success with it. McNeil has started every game since the 2006 Marshall game, giving him a streak of 35 consecutive starts. Like the rest of the team, McNeil is not guaranteed a starting job in the fall, and he knows he'll have to work hard to get the streak to 36. Very much there's no starters out here. Everybody's rotating in with the first unit and everything. So, you know, I just got to gotta do what I've been doing, you know, since I've been here and just keep on working hard. You know, everything will work itself out. But, you know, you got to come out here and you got to perform every day, you know, to make sure that you lock down that starting job. Josh is in a battle for a starting job right now. So, um, you know, we're rotating him in there with the ones and twos, um, trying to push him. And, uh, you know, he's played, he's played a lot here, but that really doesn't matter. So, um, you know, he needs to continue and improve so he can be our starting center. McNeil anticipates an exciting scrimmage on Saturday morning and looks at it as another chance to prove himself. Coach Kiffin, obviously, he just said that, uh, you know, it's the biggest scrimmage of the spring so far. So it's obviously a big day for us to come out there and uh, prove ourselves as far as individually. You know, go out there and prove that, you know, you're the ones that deserves to be in the, you know, on the first team and also for the whole team. Big day Saturday. You know, we're going to treat this like a game like we did last Saturday and get these guys ready to play and uh, see who responds with a bunch of live plays Saturday. The Saturday morning scrimmage work at Neyland Stadium means the Vols are only two weeks away from the Dish Network Orange and White game on April 18th. For UTSports.com, I'm Roger Hoover.